Uh, yo, what's good? Um, I decided to make a tutorial today because it's, uh, Saturday. Uh, or is it Sunday? I think it's Saturday. Um, but yeah, I don't have anything going else. Uh, I don't have anything going on. So, um, I decided to make a tutorial. Um, yeah, so just go into your main menu. <coughs> um, and... <coughs> excuse me. Go ahead and create an enum. So we're just gonna say public enum background enum. And um, right here, we're gonna say um, bg underscore one. Uh, and then bg underscore two. I'm only gonna do this with two um, backgrounds because I think two is fine uh you can do this with more it applies um to this the same steps apply to all of them but um just note that this is a ineff inefficient way um there's better ways to do this um but yeah i'm just gonna show you guys how to do this one uh or this way i guess um <clears throat> so first what we're gonna do is go and get this button and um, make this about uh, 25 or something. I don't know. Um, I don't know how that'll look. Yeah, okay, so probably like 30. Um, yeah, all right, that, that's good. Um, <coughs> and then we're just gonna add um, plus um, mc dot font render obj uh, dot get string width and then um, background uh, and then that should be yeah that's fine um, uh, sorry about that so um, yeah that's fine um, Actually, I'm gonna make this like 30. Um, I'm sorry, I really don't need to do this, but I'm just, uh, I have like weird, I don't know, obsession with making it look good. Um, anyway, so five, uh, change that to five. And um, we're gonna add a new if button.id is equal to five then we're going to <coughs> um say well actually first we have to initialize this um so we're gonna say public background enum background equal to or is equal to background enum dot background one because this is our default background right here um and then we're just gonna restart it here um and then in here we're gonna say if background dot our background is equal to background enum dot bg1 we're going to oops right here and then we're just gonna set um, no um, background dot no background enum sorry I'm trying to uh, I hate I hate Eclipse but yeah um, right there like that so that's basically what you want to do we're gonna throw in an else if um, and then we're gonna set this and this so basically this is a kind of way to toggle it um, like I said not the most efficient way but it does work uh, so you can see um, <coughs> it doesn't do anything that's of course because right here uh, this is what's setting our background right so we have to go and say if 
background is equal to background uh, enum dot bg1. Um, then we're going to do, we're going to do this. Um, else, so usually you'd put an else if, but since we don't really have like any, um, since we don't really have like any more, we only have um, you know, a couple things. Uh, I have another image, but you should get another image if you don't already have one. Um, background.jpg and in here uh, we don't need to do anything actually because that's all it takes and um, yeah you just have to start up your client uh, you'll see that um, if I press this it switches backgrounds and you can go into settings press done single player cancel still there if you do hit um, escape however it does change but don't worry about that too much. Uh, but yeah, it toggles um, back and forth. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. This was a nice short tutorial. Uh, so yeah, see ya.